attributes. It's the more of this. It's called wine. There are thought criminals who maintain that the resistance is not real. Believe me, Winston, it is very real. Perhaps you are not familiar with how it operates. I'm uh, attentive to the news. Indeed. And perhaps you imagine a huge network of conspirators prepared to commit any atrocity to demoralize and weaken the order of our society. The reality is infinitely more subtle. If Goldstein himself fell into the hands of the Fort Police, he could not give them a list of his agents. Such a list does not exist. They are not an organization in the sense we know. Nothing holds it together but an idea. There is no possibility of change in their lifetime. In the face of the thought police, they cannot act collectively. Individually, they cheat, forge, blackmail, corrupt children, spread disease and prostitution. In the name of spreading knowledge from generation to generation. Until, in a thousand years, find this of interest. Thank you. A rally in Victory Square at 21.30 hours. That is the end of the announcement. In accordance with the principles of double think, it does not matter if the war is not real or when it is that victory is not possible. The war is not meant to be won, it is meant to be continuous. The essential act of modern warfare is the destruction of the produce of human labor. A hierarchical society is only possible on the basis of poverty and ignorance. In principle, the war effort is always planned to keep society on the brink of starvation. The war is waged by the ruling group against its own subjects, and its object is not victory over Eurasia or East Asia, but to keep the very structure of society intact.